One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up a Casa Smart Wi-Fi light bulb, which we've got right here. And this is a color light bulb, but this is also going to work for the standard white TP-Link Casa Smart Wi-Fi bulbs. So the first thing that you're going to do is get the bulb out of the box here, and then you need to download the Casa app, which we've got right here. So we're going to open up the Casa app, and if you don't have the Casa app, download it, install it, and then log in with your username and password. Once you've done that, what you're gonna do is click in the upper left-hand corner on the plus symbol right here. Click on the plus symbol, and it says, what would you like to add? We wanna add a new device. Here, we're gonna add a smart light, so make that selection. And then it tells you what kind of smart light bulb this is. Now you're gonna be able to see what type of smart bulb this is by looking on the light bulb itself. On the opposite side, it's gonna tell you what series of light bulb this is. So let me look at that right now. This is the TP-Link Casa Smart KL125 series. So we're just gonna click on the Smart Bulb KL100 series up here at the top. It says, first make sure the power is off on the light you're replacing. Swap the current bulb with your smart bulb, and then we're gonna click next. So let's do that right now. I've got the light bulb screwed in, so I'm gonna click next. It says, power up your smart light bulb. So I'm going to turn this on, and then it says, wait about five seconds until the smart bulb blinks three times. Then we're gonna click next. So there we go, we've got it on, and I'm just gonna tilt it so it's away from the camera. And we need to wait till it blinks three times. One, two, three, there it is. And now let's click next. It says connect to your smart bulb. Go to your iPhone settings and join your smart bulb's Wi-Fi network. So we're going to do that right now. And we'll just zoom in so we can see a little bit better these instructions. It's hard with the light on itself. It kind of reflects a little bit into the camera. So there we go. And now we're gonna go to our Wi-Fi. Now here it says, go to your iPhone settings and join your smart bulbs Wi-Fi network. Return to Casa to continue the setup. So a lot of times you can click, I'm already connected here, or you may need to go to your actual Wi-Fi settings. So we'll show you both ways. If it works with already connected, just click that button. But if you need to go to your settings, this is what it looks like. So here we are in the Apple Wi-Fi settings and you can see TP-Link smart bulb pops up. Now, if it's not popping up here, what I want you to do is turn on and off the light, and that's gonna put it back into the Wi-Fi mode, and it may take up to two minutes for that to populate on your Wi-Fi network. So we're gonna click on that again, and uh, you can see this is what we're looking at right here, and we're gonna connect to that. And uh, as we connect to that, now we're gonna go back to the uh, TP-Link app. And then from there, what's going to happen is once in the app, it's going to start connecting to the smart bulb. This might take just a few seconds, but once it does, then you're going to need to choose the Wi-Fi network that you want this to be connected to. So here we are, these are the Wi-Fi networks. Now choose the network that you wanna connect this CASA smart, Wi-Fi TP-Link bulb to. So we're gonna do that right now, and then we're going to continue on with the setup. So now choose a network to connect to. Enter the password and click join. You can see the light bulb is changing colors and that's because the TP-Link Casa smart light bulb is connecting and we can give this a name. So we're just gonna call this one desk one. Actually, we're just gonna, yeah, desk one and click next. And then you can choose an icon here for your smart light bulb. We're just gonna leave it as one of these and click save. And then we're gonna click save, uh, custom, Give it a location. This one is in a bedroom and click done. Congratulations, you've configured your smart bulb and it's ready for use in your device list. So we're gonna click sounds good. Okay, so let's see if all of our devices show up. There it does. That is our light and uh, you can see we've got it right here. So we're just gonna turn it on and off. You can see we turned it off and we turned it on. Now let's click on this and what you're gonna see is it gives you some different things. You can have shortcuts, uh, quickly apply your favorite presets. We're gonna scroll through that, edit shortcuts. So you can have uh, one uh, tab and then just edit those. 
and then change the temperature or the color. You've got an auto white shortcut. We can click through that and let's get started. So here we can turn it on and off. Once we click on the light itself, we can change our brightness. So let's just go to like, let's see, 10% right there. And you can see me go all the way up. It's pretty much instantaneous, the feedback on the app with the uh, TP-Link Casa smart Wi-Fi light bulb. So you can change this in real time. And then you can choose different uh, colors of white. So you can go to, I would call that like a very blue or bright white, maybe they would call that. And then this is more of like um, incandescent color white. And then that's maybe like daylight white or something like that. It probably doesn't show up great on the camera, but uh, you can change the different color whites. I like something like that, a more incandescent style bulb. And then you can change the color here. So you can see we can just go around. Let's see what we got there, blue. Let's go over to green and uh, actually might show up better if I turn this down just a little bit. And then we can go to the color here. We got red and all sorts of colors in the rainbow, yellow, purple, and it's pretty much real time. So let's leave it on blue there. And then if you want, uh, let's say we've got it on blue and you want it to just go to white and you click that back there and we can change it to whatever white color we wanted. Now, in terms of other things that you can change, uh, you've got a little diagram down here. It shows you your current energy usage and uh, how much energy you're saving compared to a traditional 60 watt bulb, uh, and then your usage over a year. You can set up a schedule here, so you can have it turn on and off at certain times. You could set it to sunrise or sunset. Um, also, you could use this if you wanna have some kind of schedule when you're away so that uh, you don't have uh, people thinking that you're gone, you can actually use that with that schedule, or you could just wake up if you wanna wake up every day at a certain time. Um, you could do that with those lights. And then you've got your presets here. So you've got a variety of different presets. We can just click on that. And what it does is it change that to red, or we can click on any of these and uh, we could add a preset or change one of these presets. So if I go in here, I could change a color temperature 2,500 kelvins to 9,000 kelvins and let's just say 100% or I could um, change this to different colors and then you've got a grid here to change it to whatever you want. So we're gonna leave this one uh, as it is and go back. Now, if I click on that preset, it's like super bright uh, white there. And then uh, what we've got here is our device. We can change the name. So if you want to use this with Alexa or Google Home voice commands, you would have to say, turn on desk one. You could change that to whatever you want. So you can use uh, voice commands like Alexa or Google Home voice commands and uh, use them for what works for you. And then you've got default states. You can have it turn on to whatever it last was on, or you can turn it to a preset setting. So maybe you always want it to start off with like a white color. Uh, you could set that, or maybe you always want it to be a green color, but uh, I would probably put it to circadian right there. So it adjusts the color based on the time of the day. I like that. That's a cool setting. And then on from power source. So uh, when you turn it on, it will go to whatever that is. We'll do the same thing here. We'll do circadian rhythm based on the time of day. And then uh, that is pretty much it. You could remove this device if you wanted. So this TP-Link Casa smart Wi-Fi light bulb uh, is pretty easy to set up, pretty easy to use, and you've got all kinds of features in terms of scheduling, uh, brightness, the uh, power, the white color, or the colors that you can choose here, as well as you have uh, scheduling and then usage tracking. So thanks for watching this video on how to set up your TP-Link Casa Wi-Fi smart light bulb. This is the multicolor, but these instructions will also work uh, for the standard uh, bulbs that are uh, just regular incandescent or white or daylight white, uh, whatever color you want for those. So thanks for watching. Give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.